smoky fire in the hole. Let's cook some salmon. Check it out. So while my grill's coming up to temperature, let's uh, prep up this uh, salmon cook. We're going to cook it in this pan here on the grill. And we've got some fennel. I don't know if you're familiar with fennel. My mother used to always cook with fennel. She called it the Italian finocchio. I used to think that was funny because I was a little kid and I thought she was saying Pinocchio. But it's Finocchio, fennel. Good stuff. We're going to cut the, uh, the bulb off of it because we're only concerned with the bulb today. Whoop, almost lost everything right there. And I got a large onion, a large sweet onion. We're going to cut that up. I'm going to lay that in the bottom of my pan. So let me get that done and I'll bring you right back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I got my fennel and my onions cut up in this pan here. We're going to hit them with some black pepper. Ground black pepper, fresh ground black pepper. Can't beat that. Can't beat it with a stick. How's that look? Then we got some salt. Fresh ground Himalayan pink salt. Get some of that on there. Alright. This is going to be a healthy recipe. And I'm going to make one of Daddy's other recipes next week, which is not so healthy. So we're going to have a healthy recipe this week and a not so healthy recipe next week. And next week, when you watch the not so healthy recipe, I want you to think back to the salmon recipe and decide which one you like better and vote on the next video for which one you like better, the, the salmon or the unhealthy recipe. It's not unhealthy, but it's not as healthy. This is very healthy, lots of veggies. Lots of fish, you're gonna love it. Anyway, uh, yeah, vote next week. Not this week, but next week, vote. And I'll pick a winner, and I'll send them a goodie package. I'll use the random YouTube random comment picker in the next video to send somebody a nice goodie package. So uh, let's get this uh, going here. We got some, of course, Sang's stir fry oil, which we can't live without, because it's got that wonderful uh, garlic and cilantro flavor, and we're just gonna Get that all over that cilantro, or, uh, fennel and onion right there, like so, like that. And then we got a little bit of uh, Pinot Grigio. It's a 2013 Pinot Grigio Via Mantella. Now before you think I've turned into a wine snob, I got this at Aldi's. So we're just going to put a little bit of that Pinot Grigio in the bottom of that pan just enough to uh, cover the veggies, not even cover them, just to put a little bit in there, about, about a cup of white wine, and that's going to steam up that uh, fish and give it a really nice flavor. So the next thing we're going to do is lay our salmon on top of that, a couple of nice fillets of salmon right there that I've removed the skin from. Then we'll prep that up and get it on the grill, and I'll show you what that looks like, so stay tuned. Okay, let's make the herb crusting that we're going to put on that salmon. Uh, first thing we got to do is take some capers. And these are capers. And what we're going to do is uh, chop them up. If I can keep from rolling off the cutting board. We got to chop up these capers. I got some in the bowl. I have some cilantro. And we're going to chop up these capers as much as we can. As much as capers can be chopped up. Chop up the capers. The chopping of the capers, folks, right here, you saw it live. Chopping of the capers. So we've got to chop up the capers. Capers are good. They smell good. I've never cooked with capers before, if you can believe that. I'm like a high-class cooking dude now with capers, man. How many barbecue channels do you know of that have capers in them? Not many, let me tell you. I guess a few guys have cut some capers, but not many. All right, so my capers are cut up, as you can see. I'm going to add that to that cilantro. Ooh, that smells good. Cilantro smells good. The capers smell even better. Okay, so we got some cilantro and capers. We're going to put some... Uh, now, Daddy's Kitchen, he used fresh parsley, but I didn't have any, so I got some uh, dried parsley. I'm going to put about that much dried parsley in there. And I'll put a, I'll put a link to the... Uh, recipe, uh, not a link, but I'll put a description, in the description you'll see the recipe, the whole recipe. We got some minced garlic going in there, a good heaping tablespoon of minced garlic in there. Get the cover back on that, get this cover out of the way. 
And we got some panko breadcrumbs that we're going to put in there. That's going to be the basis for almost the whole uh, breading for that. Uh, a little bit more than that, I think. Uh, that's the basis for the whole breading for the uh, uh, fish. And we got some uh, Parmesan cheese. We're going to put some of that in there because that's good stuff. You like Parmesan cheese, don't you? I do. Okay, one more thing is uh, some lemon zest. So we got to scrape out some lemon zest. I don't know how much this actually adds to it, but the recipe calls for it. And I have already squeeze the recipe up a little bit with the uh, wine and the onions. I made a few changes here and there. I hope Daddy will forgive me. I'm going to give him full credit for it. And I uh, hope you'll go over and subscribe to Daddy's Kitchen. I'll put a link at the end of the uh, video so you can do that. Okay, so we got lemon zest, breadcrumbs, garlic, parsley, cilantro, all in there. Gonna mix that all up, all those flavors. Then we're gonna hit that with some uh, Sang stir fry oil. Of course, uh, Daddy uses uh, olive oil, but you know I love Sang stir fry oil because of the. It's got a beautiful garlic and cilantro flavor, which can't be beat, and it's got a high flash point. It's cottonseed oil, is what it is. So it's uh, infused with garlic, onion, and herbs. And you know if you've ever used it and you get some on your hands, your hands smell like garlic the rest of the day. So let's get that mixed up. That's our herb covering for our fish. The capers, the cheese, cilantro, parsley, all that stuff in there. Oh man, don't that look good? Okay. So let me get the, let me make room for, oh you need some salt and pepper in there too. Some crushed black, black pepper. Can't do without that, can we? And a little bit of the uh, Himalayan pink salt in there. It's very hard to use this thing, especially when your hands are slippery. Okay, Himalayan pink salt, pepper, lemon zest, all those good, wonderful things are in there. Where do you see how healthy this recipe is? You're gonna freak out. You're gonna say, Root Boy, you've lost your mind. No, I haven't lost my mind. I'm just making something healthy this week. Next week we'll make one of Daddy's recipes that's not quite as healthy, but still very delicious. So, uh, okay, let me get this over to the side and we'll get my uh, fish over here. Oh man, I got room for nothing here. Okay, here's my fish. Now what we gotta do with that is, we gotta hit that fish with some uh, Dijon mustard. And I got some nice stone ground Dijon mustard here. We're going to spread that all over it. And uh, I'll tell you what uh, what Daddy said. He says we're not doing this to make the uh, crusting stick. We're doing it for flavor. And I believe him because this is beautiful. This mustard has got some excellent flavor, you know. Stone ground Dijon mustard. I love it. So okay, we got our our fennel and wine and onions in the bottom and now on top we're going to go with some uh, some of this herb crusting and you don't have to worry about it if any of it falls into the pan because that just makes it more beautiful so we get that on there man don't that look good already i'm really impressed with myself i'll tell you so every once in a while i hook something up somebody else's good recipe you know what i'm saying I'm stealing from the best of them. So, I mean, that's the only way to go, right? Steal from the best. So, I hope I'm making you proud with this, Daddy. Hope you like my variations on your recipe. I'm gonna get that panko breadcrumb mixture poured all over that fish. There we go. That's it. And I hope that looked good. That's gonna get, I mean, that's gonna be wonderful on the grill. So, let me get it on the grill show you what that looks like then we'll come back that's only going to take about 20 minutes to cook that and then we'll come back and we'll drink a beer and we'll finish this recipe off so please stay tuned okay my pan of fish is on the grill and we're going to put some uh, pecan wood in there to get a little bit of smoke just a little light smoke 
flavor to that fish. It's gonna be really good. So uh, let me put the cover on that, let that cook for about 20 minutes, then we'll bring it back, finish this off, and drink a beer. So please, stay tuned. Okay, the fish is done. And what we're gonna do now is transfer it to a, very carefully to a platter, and then finish this up. So uh, I don't wanna show you that, because I might drop it. So stay tuned. All right, I managed to get the fish off without breaking it all to pieces. And what we've got left is that wine, and that onions, and fennel and to that we're going to add some broccoli and green beans that I blanched earlier today just a little while ago broccoli and green beans and some field greens now daddy daddy's kitchen used uh, rocket or arugula I didn't have any of that so what I got is some of these field greens I'm going to dump that in there Get that all mixed up in there. I guess dumped it out on the grill mostly. Okay, let's get it in there. We're going to add a little bit more of uh, Sang stir fry oil to that. I better get that off there, off the grill before it catches on fire. Put some Sang stir fry oil on top of that. I told you this was going to be full of veggies and healthy, didn't I? Okay, a little bit more salt. Okay, some more cracked black pepper. Okay, and uh, let me get this off of here, get that in there. Okay, throw some of that out, I guess. Yeah, it's no good if it hits the grill. Let's get that out of there. Okay, we're gonna let those veggies cook for about another 20 minutes. And while that's happening, put the cover on. Let's drink a beer at long last. So stay tuned. All right, my friends, it's finally time for what I think like to call the tasting of the beer. And I've picked out a very special beer for today. This is New Belgium Accumulation. And I think that all my friends and relatives up north understand the meaning of accumulation. And you can tell by the picture on the cover of the beer, accumulation refers to uh, snow, which I think they're all enjoying right now. I know they are. <laughs> Snowing like hell up there. It's cold here too. It's like 65 degrees. We're not used to that, you know. So let's pour out some of this New Belgium India Pale Ale, 6.5 alcohol by volume, 6.2. And this is supposed to be a white ale. Oh, I'm dry. Can you tell by my voice how dry I am? How dry I am. Ah, yeah. That's a good looking. Pale IPA. Let's take a sniff of that. Roll, what do you think? That smells excellent. You can smell citrus from the hops. You can smell uh, barley. It's beautiful. I bet it's gonna taste excellent. Let's quaff the froth off it, Roll. What do you think? Let's quaff it. Ah, that's so refreshing and so excellent. New Belgium accumulation. And that's a little dig to my relatives and friends up north. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's not snowing here. It's just not. It never does. You know, I can't help it. Anyway, let's plate up this salmon and finish this video up. So please stay tuned. There you go. Herb crusted salmon on the grill. Uh, you gotta love it. You got all those veggies. Here's a piece of salmon that got away. We're gonna take a taste of that. And that panko breadcrumb and all that good stuff in there. And you got a, the smoky flavor from the pecan wood. And that's just an, that's a great recipe. And I knew when I saw it, I was gonna love Daddy's Kitchen. And uh, I know you're gonna love it too. So go check out Daddy's Kitchen. Hang on, let me take a taste. Mm. You know what? I'm not a big fan of healthy food or fish, but that's excellent. I gotta tell you, Daddy, this is a winner. And I'm gonna do another one of Daddy's recipes next week. And I want you to evaluate which one you like better, the healthy one or the not so healthy one. And next week you can vote and I'll, I'll pick a random winner 
and the random winner will get a care package from me of all kinds of good stuff. And uh, like I always say, babies, you like this crap? Look at that beautiful IPA. You like this crap? <laughs> Please subscribe. If you don't, go see Daddy's Kitchen. You're going to love his cooking. You're going to love him. He's a cool dude. Got a new channel. He's cool. You got to dig him. So eat your broccoli, eat your veggies, eat your fish, and come back next week. And we're going to cook something good, believe it or not. And we are going to drink a beer, too. So you got a two for next week. Good food and beer. And this week you had healthy food and beer. So how can you beat that? How can you go wrong with this healthy salmon recipe? All right, babies. We'll see y'all later. Bye.